Let's hope the car doesn't break down. Look at drives into the outskirts of a city. Zombies mill around, but they haven't seemed to notice the car yet. Very thick, calm, near noon. Say something else? Thank you. Spinning pile driver. Final atomic buster. Foreign object. Judo flip. zombies. right because I was forced to go across the right because the left side's all junked and fenced and whatnot. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, we're off. Sport sticks like bats and Golf gloves are great until they break. Cook gets a peaceful moment to rest in a safe house. No zombies in sight. Once they're satisfying, they decide to exercise for strength. The group gets some impromptu strength exercises in. The heaviest furniture that can be lifted is picked up. Then set down. Repeat until mega buff. Average strength. Except for the woman. We don't know hers yet. The group finds an abandoned campground with a fire pit. 
old woman even finds a old, somewhat stale, extra large pack of marshmallows. Rick sets up camp, then eats a huge bag of marshmallows instead of eating dinner. There's even some left over. Who can say no to marshmallows? Clock says we should focus on training our strength and fitness. The group runs into another car, much like their car. It's rotting nearly rotting nearly total, and it is full of skeletons, and probably a bunch of bugs and other gross things. Yet yeah, another sign that many attempt the death road to Canada, and not very many make it. My log says we should collect more logs for future battles. An enormous army of undead shambles around the carnage that surrounds the border to Canada. Many have tried to get through, most only succeed in having their bodies added to the horde. Maybe your team will be different. This is the last chance to trade. Good luck. First, however, I need to make some room in the trunk. Alright, so about the tree branch, there's an event where you can remove dog poop easily with it, and we didn't get it, so... Now it's useless. Alright, let's see what they got. I heard some people are going for Canada. LOL, troll face. I can buy three medical from him for 10 ZP. Huh. The group meets a strange and menacing figure. He or she is wearing a mask and a robe. I sell axes. Just axes. Meanwhile, when entering the trading camp, the group detected an overpowering stench different from the usual smell of death. The source is all these cats. A woman was among the cat, and she asks right away if the group has any spare cat food. She will join you for 20 food. Alright, what else do we got? Rifle collector. Pipe bomb guy. And bullet supplier. You know, I can get some more pipe bombs. The group finds a switchy man selling homemade bombs. He's wearing a bulky coat with lumps bulging out from underneath. Buy my bomb! Five for ten. And since we did pick up a newsy, I suppose we can get some more uh, pistol bullets here. The group talks to a friendly scavenger who is selling extra bullets. She claims to not use pistols due to how gunshots rattle zombies. Here's ten. Alright, we're off. I would trade my fortune for a real roll of toilet paper. And we're off! My lock says fire weapons are too dangerous. Giant armies of undead perpetually lurch around the Canadian border, unable to cross. The group gets caught up in a lesser swarm before they can find a safe camp. Siege alert, no escape. Army of death, nightfall, 1.5 hours. Ah, the time is good. Some say it makes the siege as well. Oh, never mind, it broke. Alright, fine, we'll pick up this couch. Right, so you can just knock them all over like this. Probably not recommended during the siege, but I just wanted to show you. Bomb time! Another bomb. I 
have yourselves a tape. A third one. Sixty-five zombies destroyed. A hundred more zombies now be a zombie per e a day a year. One zombie for each day of the year. A non-leap year. Because I managed to survive that. They feel like they're getting the hang of this. Even the post apocalypse, it's still possible to get swole. prepare for the brutal day ahead of them. Canada is close. What well, the zombie forecast is bad. There's food left for the group to eat a second meal. Josh Perez is excited about Canada. El Satan feels pumped up for tomorrow. Woodwoman can't wait. Garnett can't wait. Now they get the board into Canada. The group is surrounded by seemingly endless undead. To survive, they must face one last siege. This is the final siege, but not the last battle. Siege alert, no escape, army of death, noon, four hours, all or nothing. Right there, not the right button this time. Well, a strong person could. I can't.
swap weapons around. Okay, so we're not blowing the pistol ammo with the Uzi. Nope, come on. Switch. Switch. Up. There's the first damage of the run, I think. Alright. One down. Devoted to Canada, it's just north of here. The group must cross the bridge and then reach the fort that serves as a checkpoint right outside of Canada. This is the final challenge. Good luck. Swarm size, death swarm. Aggression, mega cheese. Current time, late morning. Okay, let's see here. Start passing off these Uzis. group we got was the uh, sweatband bandits, the buff bandits. Power driver. Off with this servitude, survey, serviette. I bud the spud from the right red mud. Bright red mud. We say a boot, not a boot. Jeez. The washroom is just over on there, the left. Got a can do that today. Congrats on making it to Canada. The Prime Minister himself makes the group honorary citizens of Canada. He welcomes them to the last remaining Asian honor. 
Samba points are full. Samba points, 20 out of 20. Onward to Canada. Give her. Zombie fashion. Win with debutante. Rare extreme weirdos. Beat rare characters mode. I did it. And I met so many interesting people on the way. What's so rare about these characters? Alok says this is a good place to stay. Would want to help the Mounties develop powerful, log based anti zombie technology. I'm gonna need some stylish winter clothes. Scarlet finally found a civilized place to stay. She could love the more a popular fashion. I bet I can get here even easier, knowing what I do now. John S. Price makes incredible innovations to the Mecha Mounties. They now serve coffee. I'll set and sit. That makes me think of a new wrestling move, the Mecha Press. l was reunited with wrestling rivals and had many exciting battles. Thank you for playing Death of the Canada, Rare Character Extreme, complete. Now I go unlock more stuff. Oh, that's right. I closed the game because of lag up there. That's why it's not me. Whatever, it's fine. I'm no longer allowed to call them unks. The gnomes got very upset that I was stealing their bit. Let's call them trait unlocks or trunlocks. A potential can really pay off with heavy training and a swole weapon. TLB flexes a little bit more. TCTC. TSTC. And we read simple letters. Right, I'll check the note. Oh, that's a big part of no society. Whoever has the most unlocks is king. Uh, extra ZP3, I guess. Saba points flow through all life. They are exactly like midi co chlorines Chlorines. Gnomes love the Star Wars prequels. Get one ZP every time you recruit someone or something. You unlock extra ZP3. You now get one ZP for each time you get a new recruit. Alright, let me see if I can find something cheap and I'll live it off here. Alright, sure, martial artist. No weapons! No problem. Got the powerful two hit armed arm attack. Refuse to use firearms, chainsaws, and some others. Gain two points of fitness, one in strength. Next level, three fitness can go, but three fitness can go now go over one max. One over max. It has reached the maximum level. Alright. You want to go back to the title screen. Yes. And I'll be leaving the game. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you... Somewhere. Mm -hmm.